Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your January 1st through the 15th reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we got for the first two weeks of January? Keep in mind the timing is fluid, and this reading may not be for you. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, then it probably isn't. What do we got for Pisces? Well, we're throwing cards, so I think this is probably it. Ah, multiple options here. Adjacent possibilities. So you have options, many, 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 many options. You get to choose. It's your choice. You get to choose. What doorway do you want to go through? Be careful, though. Be careful what what uh, door that you choose because, you know, you never know what's on the other side. You could probably uh, get yourself into some trouble. This door is upside down. Interesting. It is. Looks like, yeah, it is. It's upside down. Yeah, and this one's, you know, going down. Going down. I mean, what's what's below? Be very careful. Be careful. Look, be careful that you are looking where you're going, okay? Because you could fall. You know, you could definitely fall. That's what I just heard. Be careful. Um, make sure that you are choosing wisely. Um, you definitely are going to have a choice to make in the next two weeks. You can choose to go... Uh, up or you can choose to go down. The choice is yours. Hmm. What do we got? What do we have for Pisces? You know, it almost feels that kind of looks like a hospital hall. So I don't know if somebody is going to the hospital. That just came to me. I don't know. Or an institution. That could be an institution of some sort. That's interesting. Very interesting. I don't know where that came from. Both of my girls are Pisces rising. Or moon. One is Pisces moon. One is my Pisces rising. What do we got here? Ooh, we have a loss. Okay, we this is a loss. Now, this could be a loss of money. Something could be costing you money or something that you were holding on to is going away. This is seizing a new opportunity. This relationship is not on the same page. Uh, this is a dead end. You could be dealing with a king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is controlling. This person could be a narcissist. They like control. They like power. Um, this person um, is very egotistical. The King of Wands doesn't do the right thing. Acts uh, acts in a uh, negative manner. This person could be corrupt, do things illegally. Uh, this is like a corrupt leader. It is somebody that is um, unemotional, very hard and uncaring. Um, just wants to win, wants to be the boss. I don't know who you are dealing with, but this person is a uh, very negative energy. Well, this could even be you taking on this energy. If you are a man, very focused on your, your, on what society has to say, whether this is you or whoever you're dealing with, this person is very socially driven. Okay. The King of Wands, they don't act in a noble manner as long as they look good. They look really, 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 really good. This is egotistical. This is somebody that is impulsive. This is a tyrant, somebody that is unreasonable. The page of pentacles reversed is lack of commitment. This is somebody that is a slacker. Um, they lack common sense. They're unhealthy. They don't really want responsibilities. They're, they're somebody that is uh, doesn't follow through with what they say they're going to do. This is a loss, a loss of security, a loss of stability, a loss, uh, a lost opportunity, something going away. 
Um, we're going to go ahead and put these right here. This is this is seeing a new uh, another opportunity. We have somebody here that is, you know, sick of, of dealing with this dead end situation. There's no growth here. They've lost their focus. Somebody's losing their focus or their concentration. Uh, they, they there could be a fall. Okay, there definitely could be a fall. And it's funny because I saw that here. I don't know. Maybe it's the person you're dealing with is going to fall. Somebody is going to fall or something like that. Um, this is seizing a new opportunity, getting ready to take that new opportunity. It's time to let go of the fear. It's time to open up. It's, it's like, um, this, I'm ready to look forward now. It's the end of, it's, it's the end of this dead end situation. I see that the, I see, I see, I see the light. I see a better opportunity. This is letting go of the regrets. The page or the page, the Knight of Cups reverse. This is a unrequited love situation. There's no relationship growth. There's no real love here. The love has died. You know what I mean? That's what that is. I think that um, there is a relationship that is 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 being thrown away, or it's going away, or it's just you're not on the same page with this person. There's an absence of love. There's an absence of stability. There's an absence of focus. There's an absence of happiness. We have somebody here that is very frustrated. Um, now, the Three of Pentacles is about working together. We, there's, we could have something to do with the church. We have a priest right here. Now, this is proving oneself. Somebody may be proving themselves to a church or a religious religion or something like that. We have a very creative individual here that is trying to create something. But it's like you, this person is be, being given uh, directions, listening to what they hear. So it's like there could be a an, an higher power that is trying to direct somebody, trying to direct somebody to do the right thing, to act with integrity. Huh. Very interesting. Ooh, five of cups reversed. Now this is the end of a difficult period. Something is ending. This is come. This is uh, uh, realizing that really, really, really realizing that there's a better opportunity here. That there's a better opportunity for emotionally fulfilling. It's like I'm done focusing on this drama. I'm done focusing on this loss. I'm done worrying about this. Somebody has been really worried about something, worried about a relationship that isn't even real. Okay, it's not real. Hasn't probably been solid or stable or emotionally fulfilling for some time. There could be a third party situation here. It's like we have we have three people that have been working together to do something, but we have another, one of these three people is like, I don't want to do this anymore. Interesting. Four of Cups reversed. I see that there is a better opportunity. Letting go of regrets with both of these cards. Somebody is letting go of their regrets. It's like letting go of this painful situation. Letting go. They've. It's like they've. They've already missed another opportunity by working with whoever they've working. But they, they've been working with. It's like they've already. Now that now that they're losing really big, they've already lost one good opportunity, and now it's like they're going to lose another one, which is interesting. Oh my God! Extreme regrets here. The Nine of Swords. Okay, this is this is uh, this is uh, everything dies. This is the burden of, you know, uh, worry. Okay, we have somebody here that is really worried. They're worried about. I mean, this what I just saw was the burden of mortality. Whatever, and I don't think I've ever seen that with this card. But this is angst. This is having nightmares. This is. Um, extreme sadness and despair and guilt. Somebody may be feeling guilty 
they should be. Somebody is probably feeling extremely guilty. And it's because they're in an unrequited love situation or they didn't support somebody emotionally that they should have. So Pisces, we definitely have somebody here that is having some sort of extreme regrets over a loss. Seriously. And this is a big, huge loss. And it's a loss of a relationship. And this relationship can be with anybody. We have regrets, regrets, regrets. So somebody is probably going to be regretting their inaction or their actions. There is definitely a higher power involved here. There is. And we have somebody here that, that is losing their focus, losing their concentration. There's an element of disorder, disorder disorganization. Uh, you know, uh, uh, things are getting out of control. Somebody's definitely lost their focus and they're going backwards or they're, or they're giving up. They're dropping out. They're dropping out of this situation. That's a drop out right there. Oh, God. Knight of, Knight of uh, Wands reverse. The Knight of Wands reverse is reckless behavior. Definitely out of control. That just clarified it. We have we have uh, somebody that is very overly competitive and there's going to be a sudden departure. Somebody here has a chip on their shoulder. They really, really, really don't want any responsibility or they don't want a relationship anymore. And it's just like they just got to go. They got to go. They got to go. They got to go. There could also be a bout of violence, okay? There could be a violent outburst. Things could happen really, really fast, whatever it is. Something could happen really, really fast. Um, somebody is definitely going to be you know, moving quickly in a new direction. This is also, we also have a very boastful person here. Somebody that really has a chip on their shoulder. Interesting. They may, there's an element of confusion and also this is options and this is options. Somebody may be exploring or wanting to explore their other options. Maybe, you know, they're not getting the passion. They're, they're not passionate about this relationship anymore. There's a lack of, there's definitely a lack of growth. There's a lack of emotional fulfillment. Um, there's other options. And now somebody is going to be presented with a choice. This is also a card of consequences. So I feel like, you know, there's going to be, you're going to be, or the person that you're dealing with, this could go vice versa, is going to be presented with a new option. They're going to be presented with an opportunity to choose something else. Somebody has acted recklessly and maybe they're fearful of, you know, what their religious leader is going to say. Um... This is options, choices. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. There is consequences for poor decisions. So there is going to be cho choices and there's going to be options in the next two weeks. There's, there's no joke. You're definitely going to be presented with an option or the person that you're dealing with is. I think that there's definitely going to be a sudden departure. Somebody's going to suddenly leave and they're going to choose something else. Because this is a dead end. It's like I'm dropping out of this. I'm dropping out of this third party situation. I'm dropping out of this unrequited love situation. This is a loss. There's nothing stable here. There's nothing long term. There's there's no permanency. This isn't permanent. It's going away. Somebody is losing something that just isn't it isn't real anyway. It's not realistic. It's not practical. There could be a loss of money. It could be a loss of a job. It could be loss of a partner because it's a relationship. And there's going to be, this is sadness, regrets. Somebody is guilty or they're going to feel guilty. They're, they're going to be like, wow, 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 wow. Or not wow, like, oh, I'm, I can't believe this has happened. This is, the Wheel of Fortune reverse can be a huge loss. A run of bad luck. This, this is like a shocking, unpredictable loss. This is bad luck, it's sadness, it's setbacks, this is the sadness, it's delays, 
It's past mistakes coming back to haunt you. This is like bad karma. So I, I you know, I hate to say this shit because like I said, both of my girls are, are Pisces moon and, and rising. <laughs> I don't like that at all. And I'm Pisces Mars. My Mars is in Pisces. But anyway, this is your past mistakes coming back to haunt you. Now, this is losing something very fortunate because this is the Wheel of Fortune. So it's like this is losing something that is, is you know, that you didn't want to lose. Put it that way. So it could be monetary loss as well. Just saying something that hurts your bank account. It could be, a you know, a financial loss. But this is, a, it is like a horrendous loss. So this is a loss of some sort. This is a sudden departure that um, causes a decrease of some sort. Okay, the page of pentacles reversed, the ace. It could, be, it re could really hurt your bank account, put it that way. Somebody is suddenly going to ex be exploring their other options. It's gonna. It's something that it's very unpredictable. You didn't see it coming. It's part of karma. This is this is this is karmically driven. There's gonna be somebody might get really angry. This person could be a narcissist, and they're getting their karma. Somebody is getting their karma. So Pisces, be prepared for something to be going away or being taken away. There's going to be sadness. There's going to be depression. Somebody is probably going to be very regretful. Sad. Like I said, somebody could be ending up in the hospital. Or in some sort of an institutionalized or something like that. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Whatever is happening, there's going to be, a, you know, a choice that you need to make. You're going to be presented with an, or they are. Somebody's going to be presented with an opportunity to choose something different. And I think they're going to, this is the Four of Cups reverse, is taking another opportunity. Somebody is going to be taking another option. So be prepared for something to change. And I think this change is going to be, you know, sudden. It's like it's a sudden loss. I'm sorry, but that is what it is. Um, <laughs> good luck. <laughs>